Every day, I lose more and more faith in humanity. How's it going, everybody? It's your boy, Captain Brad here. So, we already know Crypto Bros are reaching new and new lows every single day. After all, last time I even talked about them, they were literally selling NFTs of Etika, someone who had ended their own life, but apparently making NFTs of famous individuals on the internet that have died is apparently something of a trend, because very recently... Uh, they're deciding to sell NFTs based off of Kitty0706. Now, for those of you that don't know who this, you know, individual uh, is, they were essentially a very, very well-known, like, Gmod animator um, during, like, the earlier days of YouTube, like, early 2010s or so. Like, they were very well-known, they were very well-respected within the community, and... I practically almost grew up watching some of their animations. Hell, there were animations that were even dedicated to this individual, such as TF2 Air 2, which is, in my opinion, even now, my personal favorite Gmod TF2 animation because of how absolutely funny it is, and Kitty0706 is an absolute legend. Unfortunately, this individual, this, uh, you know, Kitty ended up, you know, kind of like fighting a battle with cancer, and unfortunately ended up losing that fight and unfortunately passed away, which is why there was just so much dedication to this individual. And even now, they're still relatively well-respected. They're still well-remembered within their community because of how much of an impact they had within it. They were very well-known, they were very well-respected, and honestly, even though I didn't even know them for that long, and to be completely honest, I probably only found out about them, like, at least some point a little bit after any of this had happened, even I, not knowing that much about them, I still feel very terrible for the people that they impacted, their family, their friends, and as well as all of their, you know, their entire fan base. People still remember them to this day, and honestly, that is very well, uh, that is very good. But, just like what I said with the Etika NFTs, there is no human being on planet Earth that would consider themselves as a fan that would go as far as to disrespect someone by making an NFT of them. And I ended up finding out about this from someone that actually made a short animation based off of it. I'll link it down in the description below if you want to watch it. You know, uh, you know, it was announced on Twitter, you know, from some sort of like, you know, TF2 bot or something like that that was talking about this. And yeah, I don't understand it. I don't understand why they're deciding to make NFTs of, you know, famous individuals that have passed away either due to one thing or another. And... Honestly, I can't find any more disrespect than doing something like this. I'm, like, I really can't. Like, you could literally somehow manage to find these people's, like, headstones in the middle of, like, a graveyard, and you could dance on their headstones doing a freaking Gangnam style, and I would probably find that less disrespectful than making an NFT of them. Because, honestly, trying to profit off of someone else's passing is the worst thing anyone could possibly do. But anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. That's very well appreciated. Leave a comment down below what you thought about the video, what you want me to talk about next, and also subscribe to the channel if you're new and you want to see more content such as this. Also, go ahead and follow me on Twitter. That's always very well appreciated. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, this has been Sandy. Have yourselves a nice day.